I mean, from the time I started, I would say at least half of them are dead now. You know, they just have died off. People who had been exposed to dioxins, these risks had been clearly identified overseas. But somehow, when translated to New Zealand, had been considered irrelevant, especially when it comes to a Māori population. Joe has often been asked, why don't you go for compensation? He's never, ever asked for compensation. All he's ever asked for is that his men and their families be properly taken care of financially and medically. Well, look, the issue of compensation is not something that rests with me as the Minister of Health or, or really even with the government, I think. It's an issue that uh, would have to be dealt with with the ACC and the manufacturers and the owners of the board mills, etc. That has proved difficult because ACC had trouble identifying chemical exposure as a workplace injury. The owners of many of the mills have changed over the years and many, including the Whakatane mill, were once government-owned. All the company worried about was production, production. Never mind about the men getting sick, falling down the wayside, getting crook and then f dying at such a young age, you know? Look, you could blame anybody. What is more important, I think, at this stage is that we provide the facilitation service and additional support for the workers to at least start addressing the concerns that they had. Have you seen most of our guys? They've got catheter bags, they're crook. They're dying. You wouldn't think that, that they were. You know, they put on a big, brave face. They work like shit. It's all the ones. You know, they died. Well, I think they didn't have to. 